Hi, and welcome to how to calibrate SBM load cells, calibration adapters for SBM load cells. I am Henry Zumbrum, president of Morehouse Instrument Company. If after this presentation you wish to contact us, please contact us via email at sales at mhforce.com or via the phone at 717-843-0081. If you want to learn more information about our products and services, please visit us at the web on www.mhforce.com. So the importance of adapters, uh, this is, shows a shear web type load cell, and it's just demonstration purposes of keeping the line of force pure from eccentric forces is a key to calibration of load cells. ASTM E74 does not address various adapters type, but ISO 376 does, and we're going to talk about that a little later um, with the tension adapters. So. Looking at S-beams, here we have same S-beam in the machine, and I would ask, uh, does anything look different when comparing these two pictures? If you have a keen eye, you might, you might observe that the one, the picture on the left, is a pretty much aligned in the cow machine, and the picture on the right is slightly misaligned in the machine. And the outputs, you can see uh, the outputs here vary. 1.96732 millivolts and negative 1.98211 millivolts per volt uh, misaligned when loaded to 10,000 pounds. If we compare these two numbers, aligned versus slightly misaligned, the error is 0.752%. And if we look at this in expanded uncertainty and propagate this out, that means uh, typically an ASTM cow uh, lined in the machine, it's going to be better than 025, say 10,000 pounds. Is, say, say this load cell actually calibrated with a 10 pound uh, lower limit factor. And But if we look at what happens if your technician if, uh, or somebody else in the cow lab misaligns this machine, the uncertainty goes from about 10 pounds to about roughly around 86.606 when we stick in 0.75% uh, misalignment error and do an uncertainty analysis. So um, quite a bit, you know, 8.6 eight, eight, eight uh, times more. If we look at this graphically uh, and we look at uh, as far as contributors, uh, SPM, here when the when the, it's aligned in the machine and we do an ASTM E74 calibration, the SPM lower limit factor from that calibration is the largest uh, individual contributor, whereas when it's slightly misaligned, the misalignment error is very, very dominant. Just showing that, and again, it's 9.95 uh, pound expanded uncertainty when aligned versus 85.0 when misaligned. Now, if we look at a shear web load cell and do the same thing, here you can see the cells greatly misaligned. And we ran this test, and on a shear web load cell, the error is about 0.0022 or 22 parts per million, and that same 10,000 pounds, about half pound. So the, really the overall uncertainty went on a shear web cell from 0.41 LBF to uh, 5.27 with slight misalignment. Well, the, you know, this is how to calibrate S-beam load cells, but if you are making a choice or can decide which load cell you purchase, we highly recommend the shear web load cells. So let's see what we can do. Uh, some things that we can do to help alignment the alignment plugs that more we have, we manufacture these can help. Uh, it's basically you have your load cell and then you have an alignment plug and you have a, uh, some kind of alignment hole in a machine flat. And this can be used in a cow machine, a dead weight machine. All other types of machines can have this adapter with the alignment hole. And this alignment plug can, can be used in the S-beam, the shear web, and all types of other load cells. Right there is pictured a shear web cell. And then other things we can do, uh, we have these adapters, these spherical adapters right here. If you have an S-beam, these are probably going to be the recommended adapter of choice. And if you can, uh, using a ball adapter, picture topper, if the machine has a ball adapter, that often yields the best results. You know, it's just some load cells are more sensitive to alignment, which makes these adapters all that more critical. And to have these with the spherical is going to be much better with alignment rings. Now, in tension, uh, we talked a little bit about ISO 376 earlier, and tension force transducers should be fitted with two, two, two ball nuts and two ball cups. That specifically comes out of the annex of ISO 376. So here we at Morehouse, we design our tension adapters with the two uh, ball nuts and the two ball cups. This reduces uh, 
misalignment errors. It helps compensate for any anything wrong with the machine, and it can reduce about 0.1 degree of misalignment. And in addition to those, these threaded adapters, we have all sorts of threaded adapters. The concept behind these are they're, they're quick change, that if you have an S beam that's, say, 5 8 18 or one that's half 20, that you can just pick the different adapters to use with those um, tension adapters that I show. So the Morehouse threaded adapters can be used for different size S-beam load cells and tension. These help alignment. However, the force machine is not, well, if the force machine is not level, plumb, square, and rigid, there's going to be a problem. So all force machines should be designed so they are level, plumb, square, and rigid. Here's a picture of our 1,000-pound dead weight machine with 100-pound weights uh, at the top of the machine going down to the smaller to, re to reduce the overall swing. Uh, some other machines that are plumb level, square, and rigid are 100,000-pound UCM, our 10,000-pound benchtop machine. These are pictured here with uh, tension applications. And then we have a 2,000-pound cable tensiometer. Again, that's tension application. That could be used. An S-beam load cell could be placed in here, uh, or this could also be used to calibrate cable tensiometers. And then we have a 2,000-pound PCM, which is a portable calibrating machine. This can calibrate devices from 5 pounds to 2,000 pounds, shown here as a handheld force gauge. It can calibrate S-beams. On here, there, there would be an adapter, and the S-beam would use an alignment plug and a ball seat adapter at the top with different uh, different adapters, depending on how are you how are you loading, how the, how the customer expects or your end user expects that S-beam to be loaded. The key thing is you want to replicate how it's being used in the field. So if you'd like to know more, learn more about us, or see more, get more information, you can at mhforce.com. You can contact us via email at sales at mhforce.com, or please feel free to call us at 717-843-0081. Thank you for your time.